guys, welcome to Snakes and Adders. I thought I'd revisit one of the first uh, introducing series videos that we did when I was sat in my dining room, rabbiting on about American rat snakes. I know how much you guys like to see the animals and examples of the animals being held so that you can get a better, better understanding of uh, how they behave, what they look like, patination wise, all the rest of it. So corn snakes have had their day. Eventually I'm going to have to do a standalone video just for those, just because of the amount of genetics involved. But realistically, I much prefer this group, which are the American rat snakes, which is Pantherophis obsoletus. They have had their own sort of mini genetics boom. You can uh, get a few different variations and colors across the different subspecies, whether that be albino, white-sided, some people call them licorice stick. Um, there's hypos. There's a few different pattern variations. They're absolutely ace. This is a gray rat snake. Uh, she is roughly about five and a half feet long. Eventually she'll mature to about six and a half, maybe nearly seven feet long. Um, the American rat snakes, so let's run through them. The nominate form is the black rat snake, but some states call them the pilot snake. That is Pantherophis obsoletus obsoletus. Grey rat snake, this snake. Pantherophis obsoletus spoloids. The Texas rat snake, Pantherophis obsoletus lindhimeri. Yellow rat snake, Pantherophis obsoletus quadrivitatus. The Everglades rat snake, which is Pantherophis obsoletus rossellini. The Gulf hammock rat snake, which is Pantherophis obsoletus williams eye. And the Florida Keys rat snake, which is Pantherophis obsoletus decurti. So the decurts rat, or Florida Keys rat snake, and the Gulf hammock rat snakes, to me, kind of look like hybrids of the other subspecies mentioned. But I'm not a taxonomist, so I can't really comment. They've been given their own species-specific status. I've only had a couple of examples of those in, and they're nowhere near as commonly found as the animals that we're discussing now, which would be Everglades, yellow, Texas, black, and grey. You can see just how personable, soppy, tame, alert, wonderful this snake is. They get a bad rap, maybe, for being a bit drab, but that's unfair. Hopefully the camera will focus. You can make out some of this awesome patination that she's got on her back. All these mottled greys, creams, whites, stunning snakes. Now there is differences in build. Grey rat snakes are relatively elegant in their build, even though they reach about seven feet long. They're, they're not super heavy built. Whereas their cousin, the Texas rat snake, which is a few steps along. Uh, this guy's stronghold is in Mississippi. Um, the Texas rat snakes are chunky. They are their, their units when they're full grown. Black rat snakes are somewhere between the two, although the black rat snake is quoted as reaching a larger size. Um, maximum adult size for a black rat is eight feet. It's almost unheard of, but I reckon seven feet would be relatively easy to do. Yellow rat snakes are a, a mid build, uh, probably about six and a half feet. And the Everglades rat snake are elegant. They're probably the lightest built out of the five. Um, as far as their husbandry goes, uh, they are a supersized corn. Rather than using a three foot viv, we're probably going to end up using a four foot vivarium. We could use a heat pad and mini stat. More preferable would be to use a bulb and a day night dimmer. But because these are temperate species that naturally would brumate to be able to produce eggs and sperm, the heat pad will cut it. But their on off mini stats or temp stats are never as accurate as dimmers. There are differences in the way that they're patterned as well. All of the American rat snakes are born with blotches. Only two retain those blotches throughout their life, namely the grey rat snake and the Texas rat snake. The black rat snake is born with saddles and over time the black diffuses into the rest of the saddles and you end up with nearly a, a completely black snake with only the faint traces of where the saddles were. The Everglades and the yellow rat snakes, the, the saddles will break down and start to stretch out at the sides and what you'll end up with is a striped snake and there will be no trace of the baby saddles when they're full grown. There is also a variant which is awesome if you can find called the Albino Bell Glades Rat Snake. Wow, it's a great snake. Good contrast, good colours. There's high variability in the albino genes. <clears throat> Some of the black rat snake albinos um, almost fade out to being patternless like a lemon whereas others retain the strong satellation, strong colour and contrast. So they're interesting snakes to work with. Um, they will enjoy a climb, they are active, they like to roam around their tank, 
Um, a lot of times they're found in lots of corn barns. They feed on the mice and rats. They help the farmers in the local area. They're fabulous snakes. For years, these were a mainstay. And the good thing is, at the moment, a lot of people are still sleeping on this group, which means that you can pick up an awesome snake for next to no money. Um, they are super, super cheap for their normal forms. Like this girl, when we sold her, uh, the guy's coming to pick her up in a few days. She was only £45 for a full-grown snake. Uh, you know, you can't really do that with any others. And she is cracking, absolutely cracking. The egg layers, they'll lay between 15 and 30 eggs. We incubate at 28 and a half degrees Celsius. They hatch after about 55 days. The babies are born with a decent sized yolk sac, um, but they will start feeding after about six weeks. Um, the female will have what we call a pre-egg laying shed seven to 14 days before she's going to give birth. This is our, our clue to get everything ready, maybe get an egg box in there so that she feels safe. Um, to be able to get them to breed properly, you are probably going to have to brumate them, cool them down. This helps to produce the sperm in the males, the eggs in the females. Um, give them a think. Do some research. Don't just go, meh, it's just like a boring coloured rat snake. Because that's so unfair. These snakes are ace. They've got beautiful faces, lovely personalities. Gr I think great patination, really, really smart. Um, Visit the website, which is www.snakesandadders.co.uk, to see what we're all about. Please give us a like or share so that we can try and uh, promote our channel. We are trying to offer free advice, trying to help people develop knowledge and research. And the support we've been getting so far is phenomenal. So thanks again, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.